Hey you guys, I want to do a flip through for you of this Magic Autumn Halloween Grayscale Coloring Book. Got this off of Amazon. Um, it is by Elena Lazariva. Love the artwork, it's brilliant. The paper is very cheapy, thin. You can see my hand through it. Um, I even started, see my fingers, Ooh. I, I and I like to use markers. So, I mean, there are single sided pages, but like the one I started so far, everything kind of wrinkled up. So we'll just do a flip through and you can see what you think. You might want to copy these onto different paper. I've never done that because I like to keep my stuff in the books, but that one's cute. I'm just going to show you what I started too. So you can kind of see how everything looks in this book, which is this one I just started last night have not finished her hair. I don't know what to do about the background. I'm, I feel, feel that if I do it in black, you won't see the bat that's kind of hanging over it. And I thought maybe like a navy blue or, I oh God, I have such a hard time with backgrounds. It, they always look bad to me. So if anyone has good trips on doing backgrounds, let me know. Um, but one thing I want to say about these grayscale coloring books um, with the, the people and the portraits is that the brights if you're using markers go with your brights like i used literally neon orange neon yellow neon pink and a bright bright purple so like the brightest colors show the best because you see how you can still see like the folds in her shirt that look like real texture all i had to do is go right on over it with that purple marker one time and it looks like i did a lot of texture work so the brighter like if you do pastels, you'll see too much of the gray through it. But if you do brights, it's they're not thick or dark enough to hide the textures and the folds and the shadowing, but that makes the colors pop over the gray and it looks really good. I think I might do her hair black. No, I'm thinking black and purple. Kind of a punk look. You can tell me what you think. So here's this old witch. She looks really realistic. I was thinking of doing her face in green from Wizard of Oz. This is the Wizard of Oz witch when she gets super butt old. Okay, trick or treat. Fun Halloween dress up. This could be Samantha from Bewitched. More Halloween dress up. I love the sharp razor haircut there. Love the giant pumpkin. Someone's doing a magical charm spell. Anybody here watch that show Charmed with Alyssa Milano? It's my son's favorite show ever. He's 23. It's like still his favorite show since he was a kid. I have no idea why. I've actually never seen it. Um, oh. See, if you were to do black over this witch's brew pot, it will totally cover all these shadows. It'll just look like solid black on, on a white page. So you might want to do like a medium to lighter gray and it'll still show the contours and look dark. Okay. How pretty. Look at her face. Fun. Maleficent in her better years. Oh, isn't this adorable? Gimme, gimme. I have three indoor cats. Love my cats. This one is kind of interesting. Voodoo doll. Oh, isn't that cute? This one would be neat because you can do her face like pink or whatever color you want because she's wearing a mask. Oh, look at that Marie Antoinette-ish kind of steampunk. Oh, definitely have to do that one. Oh, look at that. You'll see this one's on the back cover of the book already done. You'll see how it looks. It's amazing. And so second half of the book are the same pages again. So she gives you the same pages twice in case you make an error or want to do them differently. So you only get like half a book of pages. Here's that one I was telling you about how it looks on the back. That's amazing. Now, obviously she did this digitally, probably an illustrator or something like that, which is why it looks like a, a real painting. But so anyway, I'll be doing a couple more pages this month for Halloween. So at the end of October, look for my completed pages in October 2020 video to see what I come up with. So here's that Marie Antoinette one. Fun times, people. All right. Thanks for following and subscribe if you haven't had a chance.